Wish that I could be like the cool kids. Oh, you guys caught me. I'm in the garden. Yeah. I am today planting parsley. So come along with me. I'm going to show you how I do that and how direct sowing can save you a lot of space versus putting everything in trays and putting it in a grow station. So come along with me. Okay, so it's Naked Gardener Day, right? So we're out here in the garden. My husband is naked, I am naked, everyone's naked, right? Even my chickens. <laughs> um, thanks for coming along with me today. Today I am talking about direct sowing and how important it is to save space. So if you can direct sow something, do it because it will save you space in the long run, right? So today I am planting parsley. I did not start these. There's a reason because I can direct sow these. I don't need to start them. And um, it's, they're cool. They're cold, cold hardy. Um, so I think this will work out perfectly. So um, I'm gonna show you real quick how I um, direct sow seeds. It's real simple. And I'm not worried about these seeds being on top of each other or anything like that. The more parsley that grows, the better, right? And parsley is a biannual, so it'll last for about two years and then it will start dying out. It will start um, going to seed. Okay. So as you can see here, these are my parsley seeds. Parsley goes good in everything. Um, I love making a parsley garlic salt. In fact, I use parsley garlic salt pretty much on everything. Um, it just has a really good flavor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna broadcast these seeds. Um, the definition of broadcast is just um, throwing out, throwing your words out there, throwing your seeds out there, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to broadcast these, sprinkle them in, just like so. And put them all in here. I already pulled out what I could from this bed, um, the weeds and all of that. So I already like kind of did some stuff to the soil first. So just to let you know, I didn't show you that process. This is the giant uh, parsley of Italy. So this is a different type of parsley. Parsley, it's not like the curly Q kind. These are really big leaves. So, okay, I have those in there. I'm going to sprinkle probably my whole packet on here um, so I can get a ton of parsley. So I'm going to sprinkle them out here and there. Load it down. The more you have, the more seeds you have, the more chances you have of growing something. All right, so that's it for that. And then I'm just going to take some dirt and lightly sprinkle it over Okay. You don't want to smash these in. You don't want to like bury them deep or anything like that because they're small. They're small seeds, guys. You don't want to bury them. So <laughs> direct sowing stuff, it will save you time, guys. It will save you time. So just go ahead and do it, you know. Then sprinkle some stuff on. I'm going to lightly pat down the soil and then I'm going to sprinkle some water on it and it is good to go. Pat that down, and that is good to go. And you'll get parsley. Um, usually it gets real bushy, and you could clip that down just like any other herb, and it'll keep growing all summer long for you. Okay, so this is part two of my direct sow video. And please like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm over here. I am in my second herb bed. I have spicy hot oregano. I have some chives. I have my rhubarb over here. Cilantro really likes shade. It is not a hot weather crop, which a lot of people think it is. Does not like the extreme hot weather. In fact, it will bolt faster right so it likes it it likes it cool we've been getting tons of cool cool weather here in northeast ohio so what i'm going to do is i bought this from baker creek it is the cilantro slow bolt 
great herb to have. And I was even so lucky because I planted um, cilantro in here three years ago. The second year, it came back and it came back thicker than ever, um, which is awesome. You treat this just like any other herb. You cut it down and then let it grow up, cut it down, let it grow up, and you harvest and do not let it bolt because when you do that, it it's basically kills the plant and it will start its life cycle all over again. So what I'm going to do is teach you why you don't need to grow this indoors. You don't need to. You can direct sow this right in your garden. Oh, there's some bees over here, so I got to be careful because I'm naked gardening. Yes. Don't want to get stung in all the wrong places. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is look at these cilantro seeds. Do you see them in there? They're little round balls, right? So easy, so easy. I'm just going to sprinkle them. I'm not going to do anything special, right? Here we go. Sprinkling. Sprinkling. Making it rain, y'all. All right. Yes, and I'm planting the entire pack. I don't even need my second pack. Then I'm going to lightly take this dirt, which is awesome dirt, by the way. Came straight from the compost pile. And we all know by watching Matt Powers how important compost is, right? I'm touching thousands of microorganisms right here in my soil. I'm going to lightly sprinkle these. Guys, you don't have to bury. Just lightly sprinkle. Okay? And then I'm just going to press them in very lightly. Just press them in. Okay. Let's see. If you can direct sow, do it. You don't have to plant a bunch of stuff in your basement, in your greenhouse. You don't have to do that. Direct sowing. You can do it if you have the time um, for the year, do it. It's not gonna hurt you. There we go. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put some water on top of that and just let it thrive. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, I will start seeing some cilantro in there. And um, I am gonna plant another pack. I think I'm gonna do it down here. And it's gonna love it right here. It gets the shade from the tree. It's gonna get the shade from the rhubarb when it grows up further. It's gonna love this spot. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for joining us on Naked Gardener Day.